there, it's Tressa here. Welcome back to my kitchen. Still under construction, but I am cooking. I have a new stove, gas stove. It's awesome. And I'm cooking. And I'm going to show you what I made today. So this is really yummy. I'm going to put it here. And I want to tell you all about this because, so I grew up in pretty big Italian family. Um, all my grandparents, grandparents were pretty much from Italy or if not first generation here, then they're second generation. So, um, all four of my grandparents were Italian. So I am 100% Italian through and through. And we were big eaters and loved delicious food. So there's something in, um, Italian, uh, an Italian dish that is called a pizza gain is the kind of slang that my grandmother would have called it. And, um, it is a meat and cheese appetizer dish. That's typically part of Easter. Sometimes people make it at Christmas too. My interesting story my my mother and her sister made two completely different versions my aunt made this delicious one that was like a pie with a crust and full of meat and cheese and my mother made one that was more like this um it was meat and cheese it had ham and sausage in it and it had um sorry that's really yummy I'll tell you more about it in a minute. Um, it had cheddar cheese and Munster cheese, and you put eggs and milk. And it had some flour, and you'd mix it up with that. Um, you'd cube the ham, you cook the sausage out of the casings, crumble it up. Um, so you'd mix up the eggs, you'd add your milk, your flour, some baking powder and salt in it. And then you'd add your cheeses. She would cube them up. Um, in little cubes and you could probably use shredded cheese too, but she'd cube them up and then she put them and then she'd stir in the sausage and the ham. And she used to make it in like a 13 by nine pan. So I actually did this one. I did a half recipe. So I did it in a little smaller version. Um, but I changed it up this time because I had this Mediterranean seasoned ground lamb that I got at a local, at the barn store. It's called the barn store, Amy, up here in rural New Hampshire. And um, it's a great little store. They have all sorts of awesome stuff. They have like black iron pipe and plumbing and electrical supplies. And they have a little diner um, where you can grab breakfast or lunch several days a week. They have a lot of local products. They have like sweatshirts and winter jackets and hats and gloves and um, feed for the animals. And um, you can even buy your guns and ammo there. It's a really cool place, but they have a whole section where they have food. You can get like New Hampshire maple syrup and local honey, and they have a freezer case full of meat. And so I've tried several different things. Their ground beef, beef is awesome. And I wanted to try the lamb. So this Mediterranean seasoned lamb, ground lamb sounded so delicious. So I cooked it up and then I tried to make more of like a Greek version of this, as my mother called it, like a ham and cheese loaf or ham and cheese pie. And so I did um, some cheddar cheese. So I did the eggs and the milk, but I used arrowroot powder instead of flour. So it is gluten-free, um, but it is not dairy-free. So I used cheddar cheese, feta cheese, and the Mediterranean ground lamb. And it is, it came out really, really good. It's very delicious. I just took it out of the oven a few minutes ago. But I wanted to try it before I shared it with you. Make sure it was as good as I thought it was going to be. And it's really, really yummy. So... Definitely something that I would consider making again. Um, this freezes really well too. So what we would do when my mom made it 
we would snack on it a little bit when it came warm out of the oven. But some of the family liked it warm, so they would heat it up and have it like for breakfast or as a snack warm. But my mom most of the time served it cold as like an appetizer or a snack. When people came over around the holidays, she always had some of it in the fridge and she'd cut have it cut up in little like um, small slices and she'd put it out and it was a great snack for people to snack on and everybody loved it. It was really delicious. And my kids, um, all the kids in the family really grew up having it and they absolutely love it. So it's really very yummy. And I'm gonna share the recipe in my newsletter. If you would like to um, subscribe to my newsletter, you can get the recipe. I will share both the original and my new variation. I guess I'd call it a Greek lamb and cheese pie. But the feta with the um, ground seasoned lamb is really quite delicious. Now, if you just have ground lamb and you don't have it seasoned, then I would suggest seasoning it with a good Mediterranean, like Greek type seasoning. Um, I have to check to see exactly what's in it, if I can find out from the store um, and share that with you as well. But it's really, really quite delicious. And I'm very excited because it's almost December 1st. It will be December by the time you see this video. And um, the holidays are starting. Now, I try to still eat really healthy through the holidays, but I do eat eggs and a little bit of cheese. So um, this for me would be something that I might have a little bit of for breakfast with, and I would definitely have it with like a salad or with some vegetables. It would be great with some spinach or um, some greens, maybe some um, roasted vegetables, um, cauliflower, broccoli, whatever, but definitely have a bunch of roasted vegetables with this or some sauteed greens alongside of this. So I wouldn't be eating just this by itself, but it would be a great lunch. Um, it could be an even, even a dinner kind of thing. Um, and I am going to be working on some more of my family's favorite holiday recipes passed down from my grandmother and my, my mom, my aunts, and turn some of them into um, healthier versions, gluten-free, dairy-free, grain-free, just all around healthier. Um, and I will be sharing some cookies because in my family, it's not Christmas without cookies, but I do have a really delicious chocolate cookie recipe that is grain-free and a couple of almond flour cookie recipes that I absolutely love. And, um, so I will be sharing those with you and some ways to make them a little bit healthier and lots of healthy snacks and tips around eating healthy around the holidays. But in the meantime, I'm going to enjoy myself another little piece of this delicious, um, lamb and cheese loaf, I guess you call it. And I'll see you again soon. God bless.